welcome back. I am back with another review video today. If it's your first time coming to my channel, make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all my latest review videos. Now, I haven't seen you guys in mm, a few weeks now, um, but I did want to go ahead and hop right into this review video because I do know a lot of people are probably searching YouTube for reviews on this product. Um, and this review video is going to be on the Il Makaj Woke Up Like This Flawless Base Foundation. Now, I have been saying this on Instagram over and over and over again. So I said, okay, I seen the little um, sponsored video on it. And so they were like, try it um, free for 14 days and you just pay $5 for shipping. I said, okay, why not? Now, let me hop into a backstory really quick. I went ahead and ordered it and I answered the questions that it asked me to answer. Um, and the shade that they sent me based on the cut, based on the questions that I answered was 240. Now, when I got the 240, just me taking it out the box and looking at it, I was like, which this isn't the 240, but we'll get to that. Me taking it out the box and looking at it, I was like, mm, this looks a little warm because one thing is, yes, my natural undertone is warm, but a lot of times those foundations that are warm for darker skin turn red. And just from looking at it in the bottle, I was like, mm, I said, I can already tell this is going to be too warm. So on a day that I was just sitting around the house, um, I said, let me go ahead and try this. Put it on. Baby, it was red. I said, mm -mm. so I went ahead and did the return exchange um, button on the website. And um, they sent me when they asked what was wrong with the foundation, because it's like you, you answer different questions. It's like, do you feel like it was too light, too dark, X, Y, and Z or something else? And I told them the undertone was off. The color wasn't bad. It was the undertone. I said, I'd really prefer to do one darker because I could tell that one darker, the undertone was much more neutral. I said, so I'd rather do one darker. So they sent me this one, which is the 245. Um, and I don't know if you guys will be able to see. Oh, yeah, you can see it. Yeah, this one is the 245. Like I said, the 240, which is very, very warm. Um, this shade is 245. Now, the darkest shade that this currently comes in is 250. So I wear one before the darkest shade. I wear the second to darkest shade in this foundation. Um, I will say they do have an amazing color range, um, but I knew the 250 would have been entirely too dark. Um, so I was like, the 245 looks like a much more neutral tone, and it is. Um, this is the packaging that it came in, which I think is very nice. Um, now, let me say this. I live in Atlanta, so which I don't know if Il Makaj just uses FedEx, period, or if they use different um, ship services throughout the U.S. Let me say this. It takes forever to get this. Um, I ordered it. It took maybe, like I said, you pay $5 for shipping. It took maybe, golly, maybe like a week and a half for me to get this. As opposed to some things you order, it might come in like three, four days, maybe five business days. This took like a week and a half, almost two weeks to get. Um, and then once, like I said, when I got it, it, was, it wasn't even the right color. So then I had to... <laughs> Then I had to wait again to get the 245. Um, but like I said, it comes through Fed. The only thing, that's the only thing I don't like is this ships very slow. But like I said, this is the packaging that it comes in, which I think is very beautiful, um, very classy. When you open it up, um, they have like the little, like the little confetti paper, I guess you would say. Um, and it does, they do send you a free gift and the free gift is yours um, to keep whether you like the product or not. Um, which is a mystery gift because I guess different ones come with different things. What they sent me is the Il Makaj ink liner, which is a liquid liner. I haven't used this yet, but this is the mystery gift that they sent me for trying it. Um, it's like that. So I'm probably going to try it. I'll, I'll try it sometime because I already have a liquid liner that I'm currently using. So I'll probably try this one once that one runs out. Now, this is the package. This is the box that the foundation came in. And it opens up like that. So when I got it, the foundation was in here like that. And it was just sealed. It's magnetic as well. Um, so I think the packaging, I give them an A plus for the packaging. I think the packaging is amazing. Um, I really do, I really do like the packaging. I think the packaging is A1. This is my first time ever trying any of the things that like I see sponsored on Instagram. Um, but since I had seen so many reviews about it, I said, let me go ahead and try it. Now now getting into the actual meat of the review. Do I like this foundation? Let me say this. As you guys know, if you're not, if you've been watching my channel, you guys know I love a full coverage foundation. 
So in all the videos that I would see on Instagram, people just be like, oh my gosh, this makes my skin look so flawless, this, this, this. Okay, now let me say this. If you're a person who already has pretty decent skin, like your skin is pretty even, you don't really have any like post acne scarring or dark spots, this is probably something that you're really, really, really going to love. Um, like I said, I don't really have bad skin. Um, I don't really have bad skin, as you guys can see, like just from like the texture and things like that. But I will say this is not a full coverage foundation. If you like full coverage foundation, this isn't full coverage. Now they do make a full coverage foundation, but I don't think they do the try before you buy with that one. They only do it with the woke up like this um, variation of it. So let me say this is not a full coverage foundation because you guys know I typically use things like um, Becca Ultimate Coverage, um, the Kat Von D Tattoo Locket Foundation, um, what else, like the Huda Beauty Foundation. All of those are very full coverage, rich texture foundations. This foundation, if you guys have ever used, the closest thing I can compare this to is, and it's not even, it's somewhat of a close comparison, is 10 Idol by Lancome. Um, to me, this is like 10 Idol with a little water added to it because it's thinner than 10 Idol. Um, to, and to me, 10 Idol has more coverage than this does. I did put two layers of this on this morning. Um, like I said, because I ended up using this I, today I just was my first time trying it like on my whole face um, and I was like I'll wear this to work today why not um so I've had this on my face since 10 o'clock this morning and I think now it's like 6 30 in the evening so I will say that this wore the whole day I did use a matte primer before I put this on I did set with powder and I also used setting spray um so let me just throw that out there um, but like I said, cover my the, that's the only gripe I probably have about this foundation. I just wish it had more coverage. I get that it's, you know, the woke up like this. So it's supposed to be more of like a natural type of feel, um, which I do. I don't want to say that the advertising is misleading, but this definitely is not If you have things that you're trying to cover or conceal, you're definitely going to have to pair this with a concealer. Um, you're not going to be able to just wear this on its own if you really have things that you're trying to cover. And even in some of the reviews that I saw, like after I got it and I looked at some of the reviews, and that's what I was saying when people take pictures, you can still see some of the imperfections. So this isn't a full coverage foundation. So please, please, please do not be misled by the stuff you see on Instagram where the people are like, oh my gosh, this color is just so perfect. This is that. This is not a full coverage foundation. I do feel like it's medium buildable because I can't even say medium full. Because to me, 10 Idol is more medium full. Um, but to me, this is it's just medium. This is a medium coverage foundation. And if you really want coverage, you're going to have to use a concealer and you're probably gonna have to build on this. Like I said, I used concealer this morning and I put two layers of this on. Um, but it's just on, on its own strength, this is not a full coverage foundation. Now, the things that I do like about the foundation, it blends very easily. This is probably the most blendable foundation I have ever used and you guys know I've used a lot of makeup because <laughs> I've had I've had my YouTube channel for a while this is probably the most the most blendable makeup I've ever used so I will give them that whatever form however this is formulated this stuff blends like butter it just it blends very easily um like with the Becca ultimate coverage and the Kat Von D I do kind of have to trust since they're very rich textures I do have to work it into the skin a little bit more I guess since this is so thin it just blends very easily um, another concern I had is that sometimes with very thin foundations, they dry quickly. And so it's like you have you kind of have to try to hurry up and blend them. A perfect example of that would be the Dior Forever Foundation. To me, that foundation is thin and it dries very quickly. Um, this, I feel like you do have time to blend it. It is thin, but it doesn't dry down like that. Um, so that's something else that I did like about the foundation. Uh, the only other thing that I didn't really care for is the fragrance. This foundation has a lot of fragrance in it um and I, it's not my first time at the rodeo with the foundation that has fragrance in it for example the chanel ultra latin that foundation has fragrance in it but i feel like after you put it on your face the fragrance goes away i feel like when i put this on this morning the fragrance kind of lingered for a while like close to like 30 minutes to the point i was just like i don't want to say it was nauseating but the fact that i could just smell the foundation on my face i didn't like that I feel like with the Chanel, like once it dries down, the fragrance is gone. But I feel like with this, even when it dries down, the fragrance still kind of lingers. That's something else that kind of turned me off to this. Um, but
but I will say the color range, amazing. The blendability, um, amazing. To me, this is a perfect foundation for somebody who really, like I said, wants a natural makeup look or somebody who already has good skin and you kind of just want to boost that or even out your complexion. Um, <clears throat> like I said, would I purchase this again? Um, well, would I, would I actually purchase this for $44? Because that's how much it um, sells for on the, on the El Makaj website, $44. Honestly, no, because to me, for $44, I need full coverage because you guys know I'm just biased to full coverage foundations. Um, the most lightweight foundation you will probably ever get me to wear is Ten Ardol by Lancome. Um, that's the most lightweight foundation you'll ever get me to wear because I really like very rich texture, full coverage, pigmented foundations. Um, I'm just, uh, I ordered it, so I'm going to go ahead and keep it and just use the rest of it. But it's, would I order it again? No. Like I said, it's definitely not terrible because there are things that I do like about it. I like the color range, the blend, the blendability, um, the way that it dries down. Oh, and this is a matte foundation. Let me throw that in there. This is a matte foundation, which you guys know that I love a good matte foundation. This is a matte foundation. So that's something else that I did like about it. Once I applied it and I seen it drying down, I said, okay, this is very, it's matte. Not matte to the point that it's dry like the Chanel but it is a matte foundation. It's a comfortable matte. And so I did like that also. That's something else that I, I will give them a thumbs up on because I do like a good matte foundation where it's matte, but not to the point that it looks dry. Um, The 245, it's more yellow based, but when it dries down, it dries down kind of neutral, but it is very, it's yellow based, um, which you probably can't tell through here. Um, this foundation does have a pump because you guys know I love a foundation with a pump. It does have a pump. Um, and like I said, the 245 is more yellow based. The 240 is very, it's red based. Um, and so when I put it on this morning, like when I, I can, the way I put my foundation on, I pump it onto my finger, um, kind of swatch it onto my face and then use my beauty blender to blend it. So when I did that, um, I was like, oh, this is kind of yellow. It wasn't like yellow, like mustard yellow, but I was like, I tell it, it was very like yellow gold based. But then once it oxidized, it turned into like a nice neutral brown, which I loved. So the color, I love. The blendability, I love. Color range, I love. The two things, like I said, that I don't like is just the coverage and the, and the fragrance in this foundation. Those are the only two things that I didn't like. Um, so if you guys were curious about trying it um, and you'd be like, I don't know if it's a scam or not. It's definitely not a scam <laughs> on Instagram. They really do ship it to you. Now, let me say, let me throw this in there because this is something that's really important. When you, if you do choose to return or exchange the foundation, I guess, because when you purchase it, they put a hold on your card and then they release the hold. You try for 14 days. If you haven't returned by the 14 days, then they charge your card for it. Now, let me put this out there. If you do submit a ex return exchange form, <clears throat> make sure that you give them enough time to get it. Because I guess if they haven't received it and processed it, then they'll charge your card for it. Cause like I said, you have 14 days to try it. So my recommendation would be after seven days, if you don't like it, I would probably go ahead and do the return exchange form. Because I think for me, I kept the first one, um, cause I had just been working using my Becca. And so when I finally tried the 240, it had been maybe like 10 days in. So when I went ahead and did the return exchange form and returned it on, well, took it to the post office on the 12th day, um, they did charge my card for it, even though I had already took it to the post office. They charged my card for it, but once they received it, they reversed the charges. So I do want to put that out there that if this is something that you choose to try, I probably, like within the first couple days of getting it, I'd probably go ahead and use it, see if you like it. If you don't like it, go ahead and ship it back. <clears throat> I did want to put that in there because I was like, oh, people, uh-uh, I returned it somewhere, y'all charging my card. <laughs> I said, no, 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 give me my money back. Uh, but they did reverse the charges once they received it and processed it. But like I said, if you guys have any questions about this product, please, please, please feel free to leave a comment down below in the comment box about it. Because I know some people, especially people who are of darker skin, were probably kind of curious about this. So like I said, I wear, I wear the 245 and there's one color darker than this one. And you guys can tell I'm, I'm pretty dark skin. Um, so definitely go ahead and try it. Like I said, if you do just want something where it's like a nice, natural, everyday wear type of foundation, I, that's really what this gives 
me is like a nice natural every day it's very lightweight um but like i said i just like a full coverage foundation i did put two layers on so i do feel like it looks nice don't get me wrong it definitely doesn't look bad at all yeah it definitely doesn't look bad at all it's just i did have to um i had to double up on it. i had to put two layers on versus how i can just use one layer of the becca because i felt like even when i put two layers of this on I still was just kind of like, mm. <laughs> I wasn't too sure about it. But nonetheless, this review video did drag on just a little bit. <laughs> but until next time, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see all you guys later. Bye.